I've seen what many people regard as top tier PvP players talk about a pulse rifle, which I will admit does get to work in PvP. I've seen these same players state that there's nothing else like this and that this is a must get going forward and although I agree, the weapon they talk about is a great pulse rifle, especially for players out there who like those fast firing 550 pulse rifles. But guys, there is another one, this isn't the only one out there, there's another one which in my opinion is even better and it's one I truly recommend you go in and getting because as of right now before the final shape hits it's actually quite easy to get and you can get it to a point where you can craft this thing and i first actually got it by mistake learned you could craft it and then grind for about two hours got all those red borders and crafted myself a monster the weapon is called the scala potential and it's allowed me an average pvp player to do definitely beyond average things How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now the pulse rifle I've seen countless videos on is called the different times. And although this is a great weapon, I won't lie to you, I 100% believe it falls short of the scholar potential. I've used them both. The scholar potential is definitely better in my opinion. But both I recommend you getting those red borders for as these uh, for one apply to different slots at uh, the different times as a primary strand the scala is a secondary arc weapon now the different times you focus those deep engrams on not as easy to get right now but if you have them spare spam them out to try and get those red orders because when you can craft this thing it can become an utterly amazing weapon but the Scala, after using it all weekend in trials, and trust me guys, I think I reset three or four times in trials, doing some dirty, dirty things uh, with it, it's definitely my go-to weapon for PvP right now. This thing close to mid-range is almost untouchable. Now I know there will be those hand cannon lovers here watching this arguing about their precious Lunas Howl, their ace of spades, their hawk moon, their igneous hammer, etc, etc. And yes, if you are a hang cannon kind of guy, this probably isn't for you. But me not being a hang cannon kind of guy, I just can't get on with them. But weapons like this one will allow you to coexist alongside them, giving you equal playing field when you come up against people with those hang cannons. As I said, I spent three days solid playing trials, resetting Saint-14 three or four times, actually hoping to eventually have a summoner come along for me to obtain along his rank loot pool. But like after three resets, the weapons changed through legendary shards and yeah, well, that was that. I now hope the summoner comes this weekend so I can focus the many, many trials and grams I still have in getting one. So yeah. But away from the summoner and back to the scholar potential so yeah after resetting three or four times i just kept on playing because it's actually loving uh, trials and loving playing with this weapon now once again mid to long range you will get slapped by weapons such as the else's rifle the outbreak perfected the blast furnace the graviton lance and even most of the time the igneous hammer because that thing's got some crazy range on certain roles i've seen but ranges from close to mid range are the perfect areas for you to take advantage of what this weapon offers now the best thing about getting these scholar potential is the fact it's so easy to indeed do so as you simply have to just focus those wish engrams which are dropping a plenty now there isn't long left for this season and i don't know what happens to these wish engrams after the final shape arrives but if i were you i'd try and get those red borders of at least the scholar potential before this season does indeed end now again getting those red borders are quite easy if you have plenty of those wish engrams head to riven under helm spam purchase the actual scholar potential and eventually guys you'll get five in total quite easy but if your luck isn't there and you do have those deep soap harmonizers spare, use them. Now, once you are able to craft this thing, I mean, you can try and test a few rolls of PvP. I did this very thing and I wasted many, many materials in doing so. But having played and used uh, this this weekend with trials, getting over 300 kills within trials with it, 
playing with it for many many hours uh, not just in trials or other pvp mods too i feel the role that i have now will save you wasting the materials trying and testing certain builds with this uh, as i did because i think what i got here is indeed the best crafted version of this push rifle so frame wise here i chose that range now i mean range isn't that important but without this it drops to the mid 20s which isn't what we want we want mid 30s but again it's close to mid-range with this weapon you will sometimes take on enemies and even win those battles at those longer ranges too so range here is definitely what i'll go for but we need little range and that's what this offers i then chose steady rounds giving the weapon better stability which is very very important as these 540s have a tendency to be bouncy i then went with keep away this is that sweet spot after that close range combat i mean once you see that keep away pop up left hand side of your screen bottom left even this is where things just do not stand a chance and it's where you find this is the perfect range for this weapon so again when you see that keep away on screen it's at this range this weapon does some disgusting things now for the final perk i'd definitely go with head seeker now i tried golden tricorn and although um it's quite good i think it's even better in certain scenarios golden tricorn will allow you to kill multiple targets quicker i feel those scenarios are few and far between in regards to your players not firing back or having such a bad aim that they can't hit their shots to take you out because when you come up against multiple targets if you surprise them there's a good chance you'll take them out but if they're looking at you golden tricorn or not as long as they can hit your shots you don't stand much of a chance here so it's why i do prefer that head seeker now head seeker is nice in the fact that not only do body shots increase headshot damage but it's the fact it gives you that more aim assist which is the real winner here you really feel it coming to play and it makes hitting that target even easier so definitely guys go with head seeker here now its origin trait is perfect in my opinion when an ally dies or you reach critical health the magazine refills and you gain a bonus range and handling so if you're in combat and you go down to low health instead of reloading you can just keep firing you gain range you gain handling it's pretty cool now in regards to this weapon mod i just use backup mag and it's worked great for me and although counterbalance might seem like the go-to or even targeting adjuster i tried them on multiple occasions and what you miss with those extra bullets makes up for the extra recoil you miss out on or even the aim assist they don't feel like they make enough of an impact to use over those extra bullets in my opinion especially with a fast firing pulse but this is something you can freely play around with without wasting those materials but yeah guys this weapon in my opinion isn't getting enough love uh, and with this role i've created it truly is a beast in pvp so i'd recommend you trying it out for sure and getting a hang of this before the final shape does arrive because once it does i don't know what happens to these wish weapons guys on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one we all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.